Getting your work and overall tasks organised is not always easy because often you need to find a method that works for you. So in this video I will show you some of the methods you can use to organise your work and from those methods you can choose the one that works for you. If you are not sure you can always try one for a month and try another next month to see which one fits your work style best. OK, so let's go over these methods and templates. The first option is to use a Kanban board to organise your work. Basically, you have all tasks on the to-do list right here, and then you move them from one column to the next one as you make progress. In a way, you are communicating to your team if this task is in progress and you have started working on it or not. Once it's done, you can move it all the way to the Done column. If you are using Nova, you can have all tasks on sticky notes, then turn them into tasks once you are ready to start working on them. Then you can easily filter by status too, for example, tasks in red will be due today, and once it's blue, indicates that it's done. If you add due dates to tasks, then you will be able to see those on your calendar as well. This method can be used with other team members. All right, that option is probably the most common one, but doesn't work for everyone. The next option is the now or later board. This method focuses on selecting a month, maybe even multiple months, or even the duration of a project, and then you define the objective and deliverables for that period of time, and then add all your tasks here in the to-do list. Then, on a weekly or daily basis, you open this board and organise your tasks to prioritise the ones that are urgent and the ones that are important. You even organise them in a way that you know if there are tasks that can be done in 30 mine or less. Those are tasks you can tackle fast between meetings or when you don't have as much energy. So this option focuses on organising your work based on what is urgent. In a way, you are organising work by the things you have to do now. Those are urgent tasks. And the tasks that are important, those are the things that have to get done next. The same things I shared earlier with you apply here. You can turn sticky notes into tasks, filter tasks, and also see all your tasks on your calendar as well. Just open new calendar. The next option is the UIR method. This method is organising your work in a way that you have visibility on what is important to you to achieve your goals while keeping track of all the other requests that come from other team members and departments. It helps you balance things out so that you don't end up distracted by too many requests that are often not important to the overall company goals. In here, all tasks for this week or month, have to be organised and added in the right column. If the task is important, add that task there. If the task is urgent, means that you have to get it done, probably within 48 hours, so add that there. Then add other tasks and requests from other teams and departments here. You can even have a checklist of certain habits or deliverables that you have to achieve during this period. In here... There is no section for tasks that are done. You can mark the task done and you will see the tasks changing the colour to blue. Leverage the filters to easily identify when things need to get done. The next method is somewhat similar to the last one. The Moscow method helps you organise all your tasks by the things you must tackle this week and the things that should be done next. These are things that are important, but not as important and urgent as the must-be-done tasks. Then you have the ones that are in the could and would section, that are things that may get tackled if the previous ones get done during that period. In some cases, those may move to the must column because they become important over time. Anything else that you are not ready to evaluate and prioritise this week will probably be in the backlog. The next option that could be a good fit for you is the Kanban UPD method. Very similar to the Kanban board, but you start by defining what is urgent and what are your priorities for this period of time. So when you are organising your tasks, 
you can easily stay focused on what is important. Finally, if you are a manager or coordinate work between team members, you may want to try this option. It's known as you, me or later. It helps you also identify those tasks that you should be able to delegate and those tasks that should be scheduled for later. Basically, you add all your tasks and organise them by all the things you have to do first. For example, this week. Then all the tasks that you will delegate and those tasks that you need to schedule. You also have a section for requests. Basically, tasks and activities you have to get done or participate in like providing feedback about someone else's design solution. But these are requests that comes from other departments or teams and are often things that are not part of your main objectives for this period, but that need to be done to effectively support the team. A good habit is that anything here should have a due date. So ask the team member who asked you to do something to provide a clear due date so that you can organise your work based on that. As mentioned earlier, all tasks in NOVA can be seen on your to-do list and on your calendar. Also, all tasks can be filtered within the board, and you can have multiple boards open. Additional templates and methods are available on the platform, including methods that are better for teams. To leverage any of these templates at a session, then search for the method and select it. It will get the space ready for you, and you can just add tasks like this, or you can add sticky notes and turn them into tasks later. I hope this video helps you rethink how you organise your work and find a method that works for you.